Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers. This is Module 4, and we are moving forward with UV mapping. Okay, so just to be clear, there are several ways to UV map an object, okay? I'm just showing you one way. If there's a particular way you would like to try, uh, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to stop you, but my job is to teach you uh, the most efficient way to model UV map, texture, um, and, um, and, and, and show you other ways um, if I can, if we, if we have time. Um, again, your workflow it will change and, and, and be different than mine, and I'm just showing you my workflow. There are several ways to UV map. There's also several ways to go about bringing it into Substance Painter. Some of you have, and I love reading what you guys uh, find out and the workflows that work for you. Uh, and sometimes those workflows are driven by your computer, your hardware, your software limitations, your hardware limitations. If you can't bring it into Mudbox and you can only add detail in Substance Painter, more power to you. Go for it. The end result is what matters. So it's really important that you understand that there are several ways to do things. And it's okay. It's, it's okay to experiment. And that's part of being a student is experimenting what works best for you. What workflow works best for you, right? Now I can't show you every single workflow. I'm not going to because that would take forever. And that would confuse some of you guys, right? What works for one person won't work for another, right? So a universal way is to, to be as efficient as possible. And for me, UDEM uh, tiling, using UDEM tiles for UV mapping and packing is the most efficient way to do things. Okay, Because Maya supports it and uh, Assistance Painter supports it. So why not use it? Some of you have found out that it doesn't work for you, so you have to pack everything in one UV map. So, but if you do that, please understand that you will have to go with a higher resolution output, like 4096 by 4096, for that to even work right. Okay. So if you use one UV map, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, grade you down on that because what really matters to me is what the end result looks like. All right. So we're gonna get started. Um, I separate everything. It's easier for me to UV map. Again, I'll set, I'll UV map one side and and you know basically mirrored over, okay, or overlap these. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with UV mapping. Okay, you just find a spot where you want to start, and I would suggest that you can either isolate, select your objects by doing Control One and just do one at a time. That's what I would suggest you do. Just don't lose track of what you're doing. And let's go ahead and get started. Just like the crate, you have to find a good starting point. And so the best starting point is, is obviously going to be your automatic mapping. Again, it's not perfect, especially if you've got a curvature on the object like this object here. We've got a slight curvature on it. So we'll need to make sure that everything looks good. Um, with texture, texel density, and all that stuff. So we'll hit that when we uh, when we get a little bit farther down the road. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to UV UV Editor. I'm going to turn off uh, the grid. So it just kind of helps us with texel density, the U uh, and the V. It also, t also tells us that we have our UV texture space, or excuse me, our, our UDEM tile space. It always starts with 1001, 1002. Again, I'm not going to go through everything like I did before. I think I hit it pretty good last time. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, get you started. I'm going to hit every one of these. Don't worry. So this is what the UVs look like right now. And of course, if we put that on there, they're all messed up, so we've got to go ahead and get that UV mapped. Okay, so I'm going to start with, you guessed it, since it's kind of a cubic shape, 
we're going to go right into UV and automatic map. Reset the settings. Okay. Everything should be uh, set up okay and just project it. There we go. So you can see um, that you can go in here and just go ahead and start laying out the UVs. Um, I'm just going to go to UV shell and this is going to be stacked by itself. Okay. I know we're going to have to go smaller than that, but I'm just going to keep it over here. And um, we're not going to worry about anything. We're just going to go to the next one. So I'm going to start on this side. Again, I'm going to hit the uh, G key. Actually, I don't know if it'll let me do that. I'm going to go back to UV, automatic map. Everything should be set up properly, UV shell. And let's go ahead and move that over. And we'll move it over to this one here. Again, just kind of remember where you put stuff. All right, let's go into the next one here. I think I forgot to um, select everything in object mode and center pivot. That makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to center pivot everything and freeze transform and delete by type history. Next piece in here, again we'll do UV uh, automatic map. There we go. UV shell, select the UV shell, just move it out. And do this piece right here. And we'll go ahead and go to UV automatic map. Okay, so instead of wasting your time with what I'm doing here, I am going to go in here and go ahead and get everything laid out by just selecting it and um, automatic mapping it. And if I run into an issue doing that, I will come back, I'll unpause, and we'll work it out together. But otherwise, I just want you to go through every piece and automatic map it. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, and you probably know this, I, we've talked about this before. So when you select these things, it, it, if you separate everything, you're not going to see all the rest of the UV shells. So all you have to do is go into object mode up here and hit the Q key and just click on the ones you would like to see okay, that you have done so far. And you can see it lines them all up. Okay. So that's how you can see them. All right. So that's how you can kind of see everything. Again, I'll get everything done and then I'll, I'll come back and, and we'll take it from there. All right. See in a little bit. Okay, so now we're back and I want to go ahead and go to selection mode. Make sure you're in object mode up here and just marquee select everything. Okay, and here she is. Okay, so this is everything uh, automatic mapped. All right, now doesn't mean it's perfect, meaning that we probably have seams all over the place. Um, again, if you have a 90 degree angle, um, you're okay. That seam is okay. Um, anything else can be a problem. So I already see round objects is going to be a problem. So I, the lens in the front here, um, as you can see right here, this guy right here, um, I almost forgot to to do that anyway. So that little lens, I did a um, planar map, okay? Now you could do a spherical map if you wanted to, right? So um, let's go ahead and look at some different avenues, different ways of doing this. So let me go back into object mode and let's go ahead and do a, a spherical map. Let's go ahead and do a control one and take a look at it. Hit the F key, kind of focus on it. There we go. F key again. Okay, all right. So there it is. Um, it's pretty flat. Before we 
get too crazy with this. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Again, the texture resolution is insanely high on that little guy right there. Um, and it only it only distorts at the very edges here. Okay. So what we could do is to go into our little toolkit or UV toolkit and kind of see what um, relax will do, right? Or unfold. So that's the way to kind of check things out. So we've already got it started with a planar map, and then we're going to go to unf uh, let's see, uh, unfold. There it is. Look at that. So unfolding just um, just kind of smoothed it all out, and it looks great. So no problemo. Now normally spherical objects are real tough because of the poles. If you have poles, you know those tend to stretch, but this one worked out really great. Okay, so we're good there. No problems with that. And so let's go ahead and turn that off a minute. And um, let's go back into Control One. These guys. Um, let's take a look at these real quick. Um, these two. Let's go ahead and just select that one and do Control One. And let's take a look at what these look like with our texture on our map. Okay. So you can see there's some issues with some of this stuff. Um, and with the big one, it looks like it took everything okay, except for these parts right here. So again, you can go in there and go to edge, and you know how to do this. Move and sew, right? Move and sew. Um, this is, let's try to find something else. Move and sew, move and sew. Let's do that, those two together. Move and sew, there we go. And then find one. See, the thing is they're facing the, right, the same direction, so we've got to turn this UV shell around. So I can go into transform and rotate like that. Go back into edge and go to move and sew. There we go. So that works. And then select that whole, whole entire shell and go into unfold. There we go. And click on that. And that looks way better. Okay, so that one's good. Okay, so we can move that out of the way. And. Um, these guys right here, hmm. I think we just need to optimize those. So let's go ahead and select that and then click on, uh, go ahead and uh, unfold and optimize. Nope, nothing, nothing. Hmm, that's kind of a bummer. Um, so they're stretched. Um, what can I do to unstretch them? So the idea here now is we could go in here and turn that off a minute. Let's go to UVs. All right, so we might have to cut somewhere. Because it's a cylindrical shape, we may have to cut uh, an edge. Okay, so where's that edge at? Uh, where are we at here? Is that in the back? Oh, yeah, it's in the back. Oh, that's the problem. That is an issue. We don't need those pieces in the back. That's that's the that's the issue we're having. So is this the bottom then? Let's take a look. No. That's the bottom. Okay. These are the sides. Oh, that's why I didn't do it right. Good UV shell. That's the one. I was looking at the wrong one. Hit the F key. Alright, so now all right, so now go in here and go ahead and do uh, unfold. There we go. My bad. And so that looks pretty good. That works out really well. And then, of course, the back we really don't need because we'll never see it, right? So I broke my own rules on the low poly, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off a minute. And I can fix that by just going in here and deleting those if I want to just make sure to be careful I'm going to use the paintbrush and just paint those make that a little bit bigger and just paint these and get rid of them now that I'm here I really don't want to use any more texture space than I have to alright so I'm going to rotate around make sure nothing else hit the F key yeah. 
There we go. And delete. There we go. And this, these two here. Not a good idea to have them. Don't need them. All right. Just make sure you rotate around in there. There we go. That's good. And delete those two as well. Okay, so now we're back to business here. So we just have these to worry about. All right, let's go back into object mode. Um, I put them both together so we could see them. There we go. So the same thing with this one. I think we're okay. This one's doing w way better. That one looks good, actually. And this one here... Um, we got seams all over the place. So let's take a look at this one right here. So, what we could do with this is, yeah, these are turned around. Mm, let's go ahead and move and sew these first. Move and sew. Move and sew, right. Move and sew. That one's backwards. That one's backwards, so let's go in here. Rotate. Boom, boom, boom. Whoops, too far. And go in here. Move and so. There you go. Okay, so now we'll go back into shell and unfold. Optimize, unfold. And gotta select the shell first. Unfold, there we go. And let's take a look at that. Uh, the inside looks good. Right, turn that off. And these guys, this is what's stretched and causing trouble. So, let's do this. Um, edge. So, shell, rotate. Okay, let's try that edge again. There we go. And notice it's going to be kind of a weird, it's going to be, it's going to do some weird stuff. There you go, see that? Um, let's go to this edge here. That's backwards too as well. Is this one on? Uh, that I don't know if that's right or not. Let's sit and do move in so and see what happens. That looks okay. All right. So and then we got one last one. And again, I think that's backwards or upside down or whatever you want to call it. Go into rotate and try that. There we go. Move and so perfect. All right. So now we don't have any seams, but it's a ghastly shell. So it's a not. A, it's not good. If you look at it, it's kind of. It's better than it was, but um, it's still slanted and got some weird things going on there. So. Let's go ahead and see what unfold does. Oh, that looks much, much better. That looks really good. Okay, so let's put that in there. Put this down there. And move that in there, like that. There we go. So now let's take a look at it. I think that looks pretty good. All right, cool. And it looks like the the shell split is at close to the bottom, which is good. It's good. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna pause for a second. Okay, I have these laid out, and so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the whole thing. Let's see here, see what we've got so far. I'm gonna select this guy right here. Okay. And these are the pieces I have on this as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And that looks good. So I'm I'm all happy with the round pieces. There's one more piece I think 
could be better and this guy right here okay so what we have on here is let's go ahead and isolate this guy really quick oh excuse me I didn't want to do that in here <laughs> let's do that in here so there we go so we can see everything all right, so this might need some special attention. The question is, I'm going to hit the F key so we can rotate around it. So where do we put the seam? So we're going to need a seam up here. We're going to need a seam down here. We're going to need a seam in the back. Now, when we rotate the gun, are we going to see the seam here, or are we going to see the seam here? That's a good question. Um, let's go back to control one and I suppose from the back uh, we probably should have it in here right there okay that's where the hand will be and it'll be covering it anyway so let's go ahead and do control one and put the seam in the back so this is what you can do All right so uh, I'm gonna basically go in here and um, select the object, okay. And we're going to do a planar map. I know that sounds really strange. We're going to go to UV, and we're going to go to planar, okay. We're going to go into what axes? We're going to do uh, X, okay, because facing the X axis, and go ahead and, and project. There we go. And you see, we get something like that. All right, that's fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit the Q key. Okay, click off, go into edge mode. Okay, All right, and we're going to go into UV and go into move uh, 3D cut and sew UV tool. Okay, so up here, we're going to do the cut that we need. And it's going to be right here. We're going to click on, hold down the shift key, click on one, and double click on the other. And hopefully it goes, and just keep going, just double click until it goes all the way around. Okay. And then we're going to do the bottom, the same thing. Click on one, double click on the other, and then click on, double click on the next one. And that should take care of that. And then this is the inside piece. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on this one. Okay. Click on that one and go all the way down here. Click on this one, click on that one, and double click. Whoops. Get a little closer. Click on that one, click on that one, and I'm just having a hard time. There we go. Double click. There we go. Let's do that. That looks good. And then it goes all the way up. Let me do that again. All right. Okay. Continue back. I'm just gonna go hit the back key. Maybe that won't work. Um, and if we want to get rid of something, hold the control key down. Okay. Hold the control key. All right. So I'm gonna do it again. Hold the shift key. Click on this one. If I double click on that and keep going, it'll go all the way around. Sometimes it stops there, but um, we'll try it again. Control Z back, all right? Click off. Click on, uh, hold down the shift key, click on that one. Now I'm using the left mouse button click. Double click on that one, double click on that one. And it should go all the way down. It should stop, but if it goes all the way through, then there's another way you can do it. And that's what I was showing you before, where, um, whoops. Control Z back. There we go. Where you can click on this one, click on that, and then go to the bottom, and then start from the bottom, and then go up, and then double click on that. Should go all the way up and meet the other one. Should. Okay. And then we're all done. So what you do is hit the Q key, Q key, right? Go back into object mode. Just click on this guy up here, right? And it's really easy. Just go into Unfold in your UV toolkit, Unfold, and there it is. We want to go to UV Shell, okay? And we want to go to Orient Shell. Just make sure you select the shell and then go to Orient Shell. And that's not really the way we want to orient it, okay? We want to go with the top up, so I'm going to go to UVs, select the UVs. That's the top, so we know that works. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. And go to UV shell, and we're going to go ahead and optimize. 
click on it and go to optimize unfold optimize that should be good all right so I noticed I got some faces here I don't know what happened but uh, during this whole thing I guess I'm missing some uh, edge loops so I'm gonna go in here and hit the Q key and see if we can't get those back again let's go ahead and get those cut again I might have to I don't know what this is going to do to my UVs, but all right, let's see what happens here. Let's go back in here and get, hit the Q key. I'm going to select this shell again, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay out UVs to see if, if it caused any problems. Un unfold. There we go. I guess we don't have. It didn't cause any problems. Um, these are way too small, obviously, right? Let's move those out of the way. They still look okay. Click on them and, and make sure you orient the shells orient the shells and if you want them orientated oriented the a different way make sure you um, do that um, select them okay I'm gonna scale this down a little bit I didn't want to scale all of them just that one and we're gonna do let's go into where are we at um, textile density okay so let's go in here and move that over a little bit so we can see it. Get and set. Okay. So let's go ahead and get it. And let's select everything except this one. And go ahead and, and set. There we go. So now we're going to select them, those guys right there. And go down to layout. Click on layout. And that's that sets everything up for our shells. Alright, so that one's done. That's That was one that I kind of had a problem with. I'm going to move that out of the way. So that's the last piece. Um, let me go back in here and um, look at how it looks. It looks really good. We got the seam right there. You can see the seam. That's not so bad. But the outside looks perfect and the top and bottom look good. So everything looks good there. So we're good there. Okay, so now control one back and let's take a look at the textile density for everything we have so far again we're still in the early stages of UV mapping so go ahead and go to object mode and select everything okay so there's some discrepancies in here so what you do is you find the largest space the piece that has the biggest area and I would say that's it. So I'm going to go Control One. All right, that makes sense. That that's this guy right here. Okay. So let's click this off. Um, so when we look at the UV shells, you see that take takes a huge amount of space. And the question is, is that UV mapped properly? Uh, yeah. There's some squat. There's some stretching right here. Um, but otherwise, it looks pretty good. All right. So take that. And what you want to do, that's the biggest piece, and that's what you need to do. Go to Get, and notice that changed dramatically. It was at 23, now this is at 12, okay? Now, if we overlay these two or have them occupy the same space, will that make a difference? Of course it will, you know? And we can gain, you know, a lot more. So if I have these two and I go into Stack, Okay, stack shells. We can stack those shells, right? Now I'm not too worried because you know when we are painting, um, we can have them occupy the same space if we want to. This is underneath everything. I don't think that's going to be a problem, right? So select everything and just stack the shells. Okay, all right. I know that looks terrible, but because we're not really worried about what the texture. I mean, we're not really worried too badly about how the texture is going to look uh, underneath here. We already know that is one solid piece, so I'm not too worried about that. I could stack these myself if I wanted to. Go in here and just start stacking these, the top piece up there, you know. Um, we could do this, um, go in here, just select one of them, and follow the edge here. So let's go into this one, follow the edge, okay. And let's deselect this edge right here. 
and this edge right here. Okay, so there's that part. So I'm assuming this is probably turned around. We probably could take this and rotate it, right? Um, rotate that the other way. Yeah, is that it? Yeah. Go to edge. Select that edge. There you go. So now we got that edge. So I can move and sew that, right? I could go in here and move and sew that piece if I really wanted to. So I could go to move and sew, move and sew. There we go. And do the same thing with this piece right here. Okay. If I was really wanting to, let me hit the G key, I guess. There we go. So now we got this UV shell. Okay. Now will that will that give us the uh, most bang for the buck? Probably not. We don't have any uh, reason to sh you know to worry about UV um, stretching. I suppose if we were really worried about that, we could go in there and do all this work. But you know we've got all that, all that other stuff covering it. If we look at what we have, Control One, look at all this stuff. Okay. So I, I'm really not too worried about that. Um, again, if you're going to be really super picky about it, this is what you'd want to do, and you'd want to scale that up just enough to fit within the UV shell, right? And scale back down, and then get, and then go ahead and get, and that gives us a little more, right? Now the other way, like I showed you earlier, was to stack the shells, right? And not worry about all this other stuff. So you could go in here in, in the shell, and as long as you're in the right direction, so this one, let's see if we go in this edge connects to that one, that edge connects to that one. As long as they're in the right direction, which they are now, I can go in here and lay the shells over top of each other, right? Okay. And that would be okay. That'd be fine. Right? And so let's go in here like that and just select everything like this and then what we can do is scale it up and we should be able to to get a little more out of this shell by overlapping all the UVs. So let's go ahead and select them all again and let uh, Maya do it so uh, stack shells there we go so it stacks up really nice for us we can scale them up even a little bit more and now let's go ahead hit the Q key and let's go to get get look at that we went from 12 or 13 to 21 okay so that's much better so now when we look at our shell we've got a, a, a lot nicer uh, textile density than we had before okay this is our biggest shell the big the very biggest one so what's what do we do now so now we can go back in here and turn that off go into TV shell and just move that somewhere it doesn't matter just to get it out of the way, way far away from everybody, everything else. There we go. Let's move that down here. Okay, and then we're going to go to selection mode and go control one. The rest is easy. Control one now. Now we've got the textile density set for that one. Now we're going to do it for the rest. So what I'm going to do is going to go into object mode, select everything else because we got everything else laid out properly, hopefully. And now we're going to make everything else the same textile density. Okay, so we got the get. Now we're going to get the set. Okay, so I'm going to hit the Q key. I'm going to deselect the one we just did. We don't want to do that again. And so that goes away. And now we're going to set. Okay, and this is going to take some time. Notice everything kind of gets smaller or bigger, depending on what it is. Okay? So, but now the textile density is all exactly the same. So now if I click back that back on, and um, I select everything again okay now we can go in there and we can look at textile density and now we can start packing back up again and this is the tip that I had that I mean this is this is the trick that I use now um, you can check everything out and everything matches perfectly what you're looking for now is stretching and you know that kind of thing but everything looks pretty amazing actually um, just a couple of things that I see. There's some stretching right here, which I can fix. But everything else, wow, looks really great. And so now we're ready to pack. Okay, so how are you going to pack? 
All right, this is basically what I would suggest that you do if you do UDEMS, is think about the different materials you want to put on this gun. What are the different materials you would like to place on this gun? So you have to think about that. So I'm going to set up my UDEMS to the type of materials that I want to use. And that'll be in the next session, uh, section where I'm going to start setting and moving my UVs to what type of material I'm actually going to use. Okay, that's important. All right. I don't know how that moved, but let's get that back where it was. Let me go control A a minute. I'm going to close this down just for a second and this one down for a second and find out what in the world happened here. Looks like I got something going on here. Here we go. All right, so now everything's good. All right, click off and do a save. And now we're in the UV mapping. UV mapping. And you're going to find this is actually going a lot faster than the last time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop and we'll see you in the next video.